got it. Look out. He slips a couple of tackles. He could go. He's still on his feet. Touchdown, Wildcats. Holy smokes, a great effort by Tim McCrelly. And this place is going crazy. Again, here's the end zone shot. They swung it right off to McCrelly and watched him work. Look at that. That is determination. Got the ball over the goal line, and that did it. Linfield leads 20-7, 32 yards on the play. And once you break the plane with the ball, you can fumble it away. You can do anything you want. An excellent play and a fine, determined effort by the sophomore running back out of Lake Ridge High School. Hats off to Tim McCrelly. Fumble snap. This is Carpenter. He's going to run with it. Not close. So, Linfield misses the extra point. They lead 20 to 7. We'll be right back. Quarter. A couple quick stats. Crowell rushing four carries for 65 yards, seven carries for Tim McCrelly for 34 yards. Obviously, Linfield is now beginning to run the ball against William Jewell. A low line drive kickoff, handled by number 27, Daryl Schwabe, trying to find some room. He can't. A swarming Linfield defense. The Wildcats are obviously pumped up right now. Well, I think right away, you take a look at the great special team play, and Linfield, a very emotional team this afternoon. Again, of course, the Wildcats have the home field advantage. Very plus one. They've played three consecutive playoff games at home. Look at the pursuit here by that defense. That's why they're so successful right there. The big purple out of McMinnville. Bet you. First down and 10. William Jewell. They're in trouble. Down 20 to 7. They need a scoring drive right here. Hand off. Gillespie. A gain of a couple. Not much more. The Winfield defense right now digging in. You can just kind of feel the momentum switching back and forth. Linfield now up by 13. They're excited, and it's going to show on defense. Well, remember right now, too, that William Jewell scored on the first offensive play of the game, an 87-yard pass, and the Wildcats have come storming right back and scored three consecutive touchdowns. The last one, they did miss the point after touchdown, but nevertheless, down 7 to nothing. They've come back and scored 20 in a row. So we have 7.42 remaining in our first half. More, more, more bad news for William Jewell. Personal foul. And that's going to put them back deeper in their own territory. Remember last week, Linfield was down 9-0 to Westminster, came back, scored 37 unanswered. Well, I'll tell you, Linfield just sometimes gets off to some very slow starts, but the Wildcats come to play, and at the end of the game, the bottom line is who scored the most points, and so far this year, Linfield undefeated. Personal foul, offense, still first down. Referee Don Hobble with the call. First down, 18 yards to go. William Jewell deep in their own territory. Groom calling out the signal. Handoff to the left side of the line. That's Steve Hodges. Again, good help on the Linfield defense. You always see three, four, five players around the ball. And that is called for a suit with a capital B. Excellent team defense. Gain of six on the play, second down and 12. We're approaching the seven minute mark here in the second quarter. Linfield leads 20 to seven. Fumble snap, Groove picks it up. Does a good job. Turning an almost disastrous play into maybe a, a gain of a yard or two. Then the second fumble of the game on that snap count, but Kelly Groom just reaches down and picks up the football. Steve and I had a chance earlier this week to take a look at some of the fills for both of these teams. We did see William Jewell run out of a shotgun just a little bit, but so far this afternoon, we haven't seen that type of formation. And it's a deep shotgun. It's more like a half punt, isn't it? Well, it's like going into a punt formation when we used to play out of the streets in the backyards. Third down and eight. Picked up four yards on a fumbled snap. Good work by Kelly Groom. Straight back goes through. Pass out in the flats, incomplete. Intended for number. Fumbled snap. Groom 
picks it up. Does a good job. Turning an almost disastrous play into maybe a, a gain of a yard or two. Then the second fumble of the game on that snap count, but Kelly Groom just reaches down and picks up the football. Steve and I had a chance earlier this week to take a look at some of the fills for both of these teams. We did see William Jewell run out of a shotgun just a little bit, but so far this afternoon, we haven't seen that type of formation. And it's a deep shotgun. It's more like a half punt, isn't it? Well, it's like going into a punt formation when we used to play out of the streets in the backyards. Third down at eight. Picked up four yards on a fumbled snap. Good work by Kelly Groom. Straight back goes through. Pass out in the flats, incomplete. Intended for number 87, Jeff Gorley. He was well covered. Tarpanin and Mark Friedman on the coverage. Here's ISO on Jimmy Reed, the leading receiver. The ball was still behind him and way out in front of number 87, Jeff Gorley. It's hard to tell which one he was trying to throw to. And the pattern was certainly very well run. The ball was just really thrown away by Kelly Groove. So the Wildcat defense holds again, and now William Jewell will have to kick it away. Number 17, Jeff McGuire punting for William Jewell. Low end over end. Howard Hines just going to let it roll, and it takes a good William Jewell roll. Down inside Linfield's 30-yard line, about the 27. So the Wildcats will take over from their own 27, leading 20 to 7. Scott Harmon made an excellent rush on the play, coming very, very close to blocking that putt. He didn't quite make it, but he was oh so very close to really putting the Cardinals in a deep hole. 5.46 left to go in the second period. The Linfield Wildcats going for their first ever National Football Championship under Coach Ad Rutschman. Ad has been here for 15 years, has not had a losing season. They're ready to go. First and 10 Wildcats, their own 27-yard line. Randy Mueller quarterbacking. And he wants to throw. He's going deep. Really threw it out of bounds on purpose. The intended receiver for Linfield, number 89, Randy Reason. Covered well. I think Mueller just threw it away. It'll be second down for Linfield. I was looking through the record books and seeing that Ad Rutschman is the all-time leading rusher at Linfield College. That's correct. They retired his jersey. Played for the Detroit Lions from 1951 to 1954. Also doubles as baseball coach. I guess we could say he triples. He is also the athletic director here at Linfield. And a highly respected man, both on and off the field, at Rutschman. Mueller to number 26, Terry Holmes. A quick hitter right through the line. A pickup of maybe five on the play. But it'll bring it back. Gain of seven on the play. Third down and three. Gorgeous day. I'm waiting for it to get cold up here, but it's not. Absolutely beautiful day. Couldn't be a well, it could be a better day. We could raise the temperature by maybe about 20 degrees, but outside of that, no wind, just a perfect day. And this field here at McMinnville High School is in absolutely great condition for this football game. We'll take this right here. Third down and three, Wildcats. The pitch. The far side. At number 22, Dan Crowell breaks a couple tackles out of bounds. Good second effort. He may have enough for a first down. See so many second efforts here by these Linfield players. They're, they do a great job by not giving up. And well, that is enough for a first down. They just don't quit. They run very hard. The Wildcats now have picked up another first down. First down and 10 for the Wildcats. Ball spotted at the 42-yard line. We have some movement on the play. Penalty markers down. Let's go down to Steve Wick. Steve, after a shaky start, the Wildcats are now brimming with confidence. After McCrelly stretched it and I talked with tackle Steve Krause, he said, hey, we can do anything to these guys. So the Wildcats really think they've got it going now. <laughs> okay, Steve, thank you. That's <laughs> that you confidence right confidence? there. confidence? <laughs> That's what a couple touchdowns do for you, huh? 4.57 remaining in our first half. 20 to 7, our score now. Linfield leading. William Jewell College, and I know Ad and company would love to get one more score on the board before we break for halftime. Dead ball, illegal procedure, offense, still first down. First and 15, 
Linfield has the ball on their own 37-yard line. Four minutes, 50 seconds left to go before we reach halftime break. Defense, 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 Mueller, the quarterback. Freeman, and this is Terry Crowell. Crowell off the right side of the line. Pick up uh, maybe three on the play. Pick up a four now officially. Second down, 11. The Wildcats are leading 20 to seven. They were down seven nothing early and they've scored 20 unanswered points. And right now, momentum is on their side. I think Linfield is very content right now to keep the football on the ground. The Wildcats would like to offer a good drive, put it all together and take it all the way in. But they'd like to also take their time in doing it. Randy Reason now split in. He split to the near side, number 89. This is Randy Mueller. Straight drop back over the middle. Pass is complete. Lance Lopes, tight end. Lopes makes the catch. It's going to be probably two yards shy of the first down. It'll bring about a third down. We'll wait for the official placement. A third and one for the Wildcats. Here's the replay. Again, good protection for Mueller. And again, going to the tight end. Well, you notice, too, the ball was exceptionally well thrown because the coverage was very strong by William Jewell. So Randy just threw the ball in a little bit low, forces his receiver to fall down, catch the ball, hit the ground. No chance at all for an interception or breaking it up. Third and one, Wildcats, the pitch to Crowell around right side. There's that second effort again, and he may have the first down. Very difficult runner to get down. Keeps those legs churning. And right now, it looks as if he's got enough for the first down. I believe the, ofi the fi official is going to ask for a measurement on, on that particular play, but from this vantage point, it looks like it's going to be good enough for it a is. first down. It is. There's the signal. First down, Linfield. Again, that second effort. Wildcat runners are getting the job done. You see that? We call that one from the tower, and we're clear across the field. All right. Clock is running, three minutes, 15 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Linfield leads 20 to seven. They have the ball now in William Jewell territory at the Cardinals 47 yard line. Randy Mueller, the quarterback, Freeman and Crowell. The running back, the handoff to Terry Crowell, and he is stopped. I'll tell you, Jan Redmond, number 53, just jumped all over Linfield on that particular play, and that is a great defensive play. We were talking earlier in the game about some very strong play the interior line on the defensive side, there was evidence of it right there. A perfect example, and of course the potential is there. You can see why William Jewell is tough on defense, especially against the run. A loss of a yard on the play, second down 11 on William Jewell's 48 yard line. The handoff goes to number 26, Terry Holmes around the far side. Holmes brought down. Not too much on the play. Well, okay, we've seen that play, that similar play now about four times today. I would not be surprised to see Linfield start going to the air a little bit more. Now, pretty much they've concentrated on the ground, and William Jewell is king of the rushing attack, so maybe look for Linfield to go to the air. On this day, they'll probably undoubtedly have to. Third and 11 situation coming up for the Wildcats. No gain on the play, look for the pass, and Mueller has had success through the air. Randy Raisin is split to the near side. Holds the slot left. Back to pass goes Mueller. Again, great protection. Swings it out to Freeman. Threw it a little behind him. Incomplete. Tried to swing it out to fullback Mike Freeman. Threw it behind him. Fourth down 11. Wildcats will have to play. Only 148 remaining in our first half now. If you've just joined us on the broadcast, the Linfield Wildcats is this the title game. NAIA Division II leading William Jewell out of Liberty, Missouri, 20 to 7. Greg Hodgkinson will punt for Linfield. Back to receive number 27, Daryl Schwabe, and number 41, Paul Taylor for William Jewell. Good snap to the center. Penalty marker down on the play. A great punch by Hodgkinson. Fair catch signal. Ball takes a bounce into the end zone, but we do have penalty markers on the play. We'll have to wait for the call. Uh, the question right now, did Linfield draw William Jewell offside? If you take a look at that play, you'll see that the Cardinals jumped right offside, but maybe the Cardinals were drawn offside. The officials are just talking about it right now, down about the 40-yard line. There's the replay, and you see the punt by Hodgkinson. into the end zone. And they will call the offsides against William Jewell, so the Cardinals were not drawn off by the Wildcats. That would still bring about fourth down and six. It won't be enough for a first down, so we'll see another punt here by Hodgkinson. 
but he'll have another shot at killing the ball about inside the 10-yard 